What's going on guys? It's Kyle again with DTOM Knives and Gear and today we have an unboxing to share with you guys. This is a knife that was supplied by the Apex Passaround group. I am so very thankful to be a part of this group. It is a group that I've looked at and uh, uh, on YouTube for a bunch of different reviewers who are part of this group and when I started my channel I never in a million years thought that I would be a part of this and so I'm so very grateful grateful to the group uh mainly david over at blade banter for allowing me to join this group uh, i could not be happier you guys are awesome so let's get into it our unboxing knife will be, today will be the tape tape designs I'm, I'm pretty sure i said tape designs and i'm still not sure if i'm pronouncing that right uh but this is the hornet 2.0 and uh but not just the hornet 2.0 this is a very limited run and we have a review coming on this very very soon so stay tuned for that so let's get in to our knife today uh, i'll see if i can save this box Oh yeah, that was good. All right, so from the Apex Pass Around group, this time we have a Benchmade. This is the Autocrat. This is the 3400. So Black Series, which I'm pretty sure is like their user tactical uh, series. What do we have here? Oh yeah, so. Here is the Benchmade Autocrat. Look how cool that looks with the black G10 and uh, blue uh, hardware. Then you also have a really cool blue uh, button there. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I've am i only had a few um, I got OTFs on the channel, but they've mainly been Microtex. And Microtex are pretty much the industry standard for OTFs. Now, Benchmade has a few. This will be my first uh, try at a Benchmade OTF. And first impressions, looking at it, it looks amazing. I love, most of them have that I've handled have been all aluminum. Uh, this one actually has G10 scales on an aluminum uh, frame, it looks like. And it has a really cool deep carry pocket clip and no um, uh, cross, uh, skull crusher slash glass breaker, which I am really digging. I don't like the glass breakers on the uh, ends of OTFs like Microtech does. They make great knives, but I'm just not a fan of that uh, glass breaker. I know a lot of people are, and that's cool. It's just not my thing. Uh, go over and watch Jake from Bearded Gears channel, and he'll tell you how he feels about that glass breaker. You don't like him at all. You don't like him at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and flick this guy out. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So very snappy. That's, that's nice. It feels pretty close to what uh, the Microtex that I have... Um, handled very very nice this one has this really cool dagger style blade and it is an s30v steel focus camera focus you're not gonna do it are you it ain't gonna do it really cool dagger style blade um dagger style blades don't really tickle my fancy a whole lot just because of the utility of a blade that i use for it every day but this this is a tactical blade an otf to me is just that. Now you can, and I know people, matter of fact, I work with a guy who carries an OTF and that is his EDC and he uses it for everything and it works great. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can definitely use them. This being a dagger blade, probably not as good uh, of a EDC blade, but yeah, the one side is very, very sharp. The other side feels sharp too. So it looks like there's, it's got two sharp edges. One sharp, one side just feels a little sharper than the other. So I'm really not sure, but um, you know, you have your regular blade play that you're gonna have on all OTFs. That doesn't bother me at all because uh, there's really no way to get rid of that unless you buy something like the, the Deadlock or the Dead Bolt or whatever the heck that thing is called, it's like two grand. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. It almost feels a little bit easier on the uh, deployment for the, cause you have a lot of spring tension on most of the, uh, the uh, Microtex and this one feels a little bit lighter to be able to push it out. Like my son has a pretty hard time with the Microtex to be able to get that blade in and out. This one I think he'll probably be a little bit easier with. But yeah, very, very snappy. Like the sound that it makes. I like the black and blue color combo. Really, really looks nice. And the G10, I think G10 is actually really well done 
on this knife. Um, I the, the all aluminum ones they work great too. But I just they, I like this. This is different. And then of course this really awesome pocket clip by Mitch Made Deep Carry set this thing all the way down. Now obviously not everybody is going to be able to uh, own or carry one of these because there are some still there are still some states that. Uh, don't like freedom and are have fear-based legislation. So, you know, if you can't get one of these, I'm sorry. I suggest moving to a free state, uh, even though this country is going crazy. But we won't get into that. This is a very nice knife. I'm very interested to trying out this dagger-style blade. Uh, I'm not going to go overboard. This is not my knife. But, you know, cutting uh, some paper, you know, getting into a package or something. I want to see how that works. Um, but first, first impressions, I really like it. I really dig the way it looks. It feels really nice in the hand. As you can tell, I can get all, I mean, even with my big hands, I've got all my fingers around that guy. Very easy to deploy. So, and I love the pocket clip. So we will, we will see. I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking it out with me. So stay tuned to the full review of this and many more to come. Uh, I am really enjoying this new way we're doing this on, uh, on YouTube. I hope you guys are too. So let me know in the comments what you think about seeing the ugly mug. And uh, guys, we will see you in the next one.